Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Kim K 2015 inspired makeup look that is perfect for the fall and super classic, so let's get started. I'm going to be going in with a little bit of micellar water to cleanse the skin, remove any excess dirts and oils, and prepping the skin with Bobbi Brown's Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which is really good underneath foundation as it won't create any greasy texture or layer that will mess up with the texture of the foundation. To prime my eyes, I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30. And I'm going to be setting that with the Fenty Universal Blotting Powder. using today is the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette and picking up on these two neutral shades which is perfect for this look because we want to create the illusion that our eyes are actually bigger than they are so I'm going to go above my natural crease and with a Morphe M456 brush and going inwards and outwards in windshield wiper motions in the crease area so that I am mimicking a natural shadow as if my bone was a little bit higher than that and i'm going in with a fluffy clean blending brush to make sure that all the edges are blended seamlessly super black coal pencil and I'm warming it up on the back of my hand first and if you're a beginner in eyeliner this is I think the most forgiving way to start out sketching your eyeliner because as you can see I have a small brush on the end of this pencil and it just helps direct the angle and create a symmetrical line Using a different pencil here because this is not long wearing like the Makeup by Mario one so it's a little bit easier to maneuver and blend out it gives me a little bit more time to work with it next I'm taking a small shader brush and back into the palette with lighter colors and this is going to be focused on our lid area the same intensity on the inner corner as the outer corner because again we want to create that full cut crease look and make our eyes appear bigger for foundation I'm using the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade Santa Fe and I mixed it in with an LA girl yellow pigment to match my skin tone better and just applying that with a damp beauty blender concealer underneath my eyes and a morphe x makeup by ariel collection brush i love this concealer because it's a very thin formula so it's not going to look cakey underneath the eyes and it sets down beautifully next i'm going in with a fenty beauty matchstick in the shade mocha and warming this up in the palm of my hand as opposed to the back of my hand because i find this has a little bit extra heat and makes the product a little bit more blendable. I'm not passing the blending past my pupil or else that'll just drag the face down. I love this color because it's more on the pink tone so it's going to really mimic a contour rather than just bronzing and it sets down to a matte finish so it's not going to budge. If you went a little too low with your contour, you can always take your concealer or foundation brush and clean up underneath. And also make sure to lift the lower lip with a little bit concealer as well, just so that everything looks cohesive. And if you noticed, I didn't 
blend out my concealer right after applying it. I let it set down a little bit just so that it becomes tacky and oxidizes so that it gives the most coverage. To set my makeup, I'm gonna go in with a Fenty Beauty Universal Blotting Powder. And for my dry skin, it was a little bit too mattifying, but I really recommend it if you have oily skin because it's a super finely milled formula and locks in the makeup without making it look cakey or in accentuating any fine lines or um, dry patches. Whether it's for everyday makeup or a full face when you're baking, it's really important to set your concealer. As you can see, I'm going inwards and outwards so that you are applying powder in every area of the crease so that it doesn't have any excess moisture to settle into the lines. For blush, I'm going in with the Scott Barnes blush palette and picking up on these two pinky rosy tones and first tapping the blush so that it doesn't move the foundation around and then once I have that first layer I can go in and start buffing it into the cheeks and then as you can see I'm focusing it more on the temple area so that again it creates that lifted effect. To set the cream contour, I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. This has a little bit more warmth to it, so it's going to add a little tan to the skin. And again, just in those areas that I cream contoured around the forehead, and the cheekbone, and a little on the jaw. To sharpen up the contour, I'm going to go in with a little bit of translucent powder on a powder puff underneath the cheekbone and really set the makeup by pressing it into the skin. To further open up the eyes, I went in with a nude eyeliner in the waterline and creating a little bit of contrast with those first two eyeshadow colors and a small definer brush right against the lash line. And for lips, I'm going in first with MAC Honey Love Matte Lipstick and then outlining very lightly with the ColourPop BFF2 Lip Liner. off the lips I'm going in with NYX fortune cookie butter gloss I love this formula because it has a little bit of pigment to it but it's not super thick and sticky I'm using today is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade number 10 and I love this one because it's just a beautiful lit from within glow it's nothing too dramatic and can be used on bare skin or a full face of makeup and it also photographs beautifully to set my face I'm using the morphe continuous setting mist setting spray this is not necessarily going to make the makeup last longer it just adds a little bit extra hydration to the skin and this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.